their songs and their albums. My favorite songs from each album, that would be an iron review, their breakup, their deaths, and where they are today. You may say I'm a dreamer. That is a quote from John Lennon's very famous song, Imagine. You could say he was, and he dreamed up the Beatles, so you could say it's a dream come true. They were all born in Liverpool, England in the 1940s, the youngest George and the oldest Ringo. Their influences growing up were Chuck Berry. He, they did many covers for his songs and albums. John Lennon was the founder of the Beatles and one of the main guitarists and one of the main singers. He died December 8, 1980. Paul McCartney was the bassist for the Beatles and one of the two main singers along with Lennon. He is still alive today. George was the first member to join that was the youngest member in the Beatles, and he was a singer and a guitarist. He died in, no in November 2001. Ringo Starr was the drummer for the Beatles. He was a singer, but he is no longer a singer. He is still alive today, too. Pete Best was the least known fifth Beatle. He only lasted for two years in their very early days. Before they even met Ringo, they had him as a drummer. Best wasn't like the others because he didn't smile on stage, and he didn't have the same bull haircut as the others, so they kicked him out and got Ringo in. <laughs> he, he said he was the best Beatle, so it's not really that big of a deal. But uh, the Quarry Men was the first group any of them had ever been in. When they first met, uh, John and Pete Shotton were the founders of the Beatles, not the, well, the Quarry Men. And George was a lot younger than Paul McCartney. And he idolized McCartney in the band. In 1959, everybody except Paul, George, Glenn, and Pete Best were left in the band. And then after Pete left, they named themselves the Beatles. Their first album was Please Please Me. This name comes from their very popular song at the time, Please Please Me. when they topped the U.S. Billboard charts and, and were on the of Ed Sullivan show. And this is, a, this is a video of them on the Ed Sullivan show performing their first hit in the U.S.A. at one of the other bands. This is the first spark of the U.S.A. Now, they had many movies, including A Hard Day's Night, which was their first movie. It was released in July 6, 1964. They, they had many other movies, including Help and Yellow Submarine. Yellow Submarine was the only animated Beatles movie. Shea Stadium was a huge event for the Beatles, because that's when, uh, what, what other nice to remember, Moments happened. A concert in August 15, 1965. Everybody went crazy. Now I'm going to do uh, my favorite songs from each main album. Uh, Hard Day's Night on a Hard Day's Night. This is a 